car ready to go home and get a pillow, say that again. <laughs> Chicken died that we might leave. I don't know who cooked them lima beans. Let's do it again. Oh, have mercy, Jesus. Y'all, all we need now is just a pill. And y'all are giving me this task. I said something to y'all, and y'all know y'all really need to sleep. Y'all gonna have to help me out here. Y'all gonna have to help me out. Some of y'all have got your legs crossed. Look at your back. Some of y'all ate so much you had to have side frames. I can never see for me so much rice in my life, though. But I love some rice, but I ain't never know you. Ain't you hear me? I'm gonna learn to eat it before I leave. <laughs> Yellow rice. Man, I want to thank all of the sisters and possibly the brothers for such a delicious meal. And that macaroni. Yeah. That one on craft, y'all. Somebody know what they're doing, eh? Man, man. Now, I'm gonna try not to be long. Try to reach them. In the book of Proverbs, and I don't think many of y'all know the Bible. Y'all are just going to have to trust me tonight. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 and verse 5 trust in the law. With all of thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. Let me talk to you briefly if I can. My path is still being directed by the law. Forgetfulness, it is a persistent human weakness. We forget things we should. A husband forgets his wedding anniversary and he faces some uncomfortable moments with his wife. A mother sometimes forget to pay a bill. And them collectors show the call, your cell phone, email you, and possibly knock on your door. A son or a daughter forgets to mow the grass or wash the dishes. Can I get a witness? <laughs> and has to suffer some reprimands of his father or mother. How many of you all will agree this afternoon that we are forgetful? Amen. The distresses and the pressures of life may even cause us to forget who we are and the privileges we have as children of God. Sometimes things are best forgotten. But God does not want us to forget His faithfulness or the benefits we have as His people. How many of you all know this afternoon that the Lord is good? Yes. How many of you all can testify that the Lord is good? Yes. You hadn't heard about it. Didn't nobody tell you about it, but you have experienced it for yourself. You know the Lord that brought us a mighty long way. Many times God has to direct us. There have been some good days, church, and some bad days, but he's still directing our path. We must remember that when God directs our path, all things work out for our good. And let us be mindful to cast our cares upon him, upon the altar, rather, 
and lead them even when God sometimes has to put us in a holding pattern. Many times God will allow a painful situation. Painful circumstances sometimes he will allow those things to swallow us up. This season in our spiritual growth I call it this afternoon a holding pattern. We can't move to the left. Can't move to the right. All we can do is just sit. Like Jonah sat in the belly of that great fish. So God could have his undivided attention. And God wanted to speak to nobody but Jonah. And let me say a moment that whenever you decide to go against God, you're always headed down. When, 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 when Jonah decided not to do what God said, the Bible said he went down to Tarsus, right. got down in a boat, right. went down in the water, right. and then down in the belly of a fish. Any time to go against God, you're headed down. Right. Right. But when he got there, God needed Jonah's attention. And sometimes God would have to put us flat on our back. To get our attention. And let me tell you one thing I've learned that when God gets your attention, and when God gets you where He wants you, can't nobody else get in touch with you. Jonah was all alone. Do you think Sister Jonah knew where Jonah was? fish for three days. <laughs> now y'all ain't gonna find it in the Bible. But God put John in a holding pattern. Why would he do that? Because he needed to speak to his heart. And when I was a little boy, I used to hear a song on Mount Olive, Sacred Rock. Jesus spent the night in prayer. He's a pattern for us all, all along. If we only still awake, in some portions of the day, we'll find it always pays to be alone. And when you are alone with the Lord, He'll speak peace to your troubled mind. When you are alone with the Lord, He makes things clear. Listen, there was no friends for Jonah to call. No colleagues to drop by. No books to read. No food to eat. No interferences. No interruption. He had plenty of time to sit, to think, and meditate, and pray. When we are deep down in the midst of a difficult situation, God can talk to us. You ever notice some folk who have a whole lot of glory in church? Many times it's not that they are putting on. But see, when you got a story, you got some glory. We I myself mean, ain't got no shout in us, we ain't got nothing that'll make us shout. We haven't had enough experiences. Oh, just keep on saying good morning. Now some of you got something to shout about, but somebody done told you it's wrong to shout. But when you come to know the man for yourself, devil in hell can't stop you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're deep down in our situation. God can talk to us. We, 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 when he has our undivided attention, we, he can show us things about ourselves that the other otherwise would not have ever seen. When God gets your attention, can't nobody email you. When you God is alone, you're not worried about Twitter, texting, all that stuff don't really matter. You see, God sometimes really has to put us in a holding pattern. When you're sick in your physical body, and you pray but God has not healed you yet, you're in a holding pattern. When you're having problems with your children, you put them on the altar but God has not delivered them yet, you're in a holding pattern. You see, when you're deep in the belly of a deep situation, there are no interruptions. God has our undivided attention. All 
we can do, as I stated, is sit, think, meditate, and pray. We cannot run from God because there are no mountains that are high enough, that is low enough, room that are dark enough, or places that are hidden enough from Him. We must remember, though, and I get ready to go to my seat. <laughs> we must remember to praise God while we are waiting. And remember three things. The pattern has a purpose. The pattern has a plan. And the pattern has a process. So stop struggling and stop listening, praying, and trusting God. He'll keep you right where you are until you can clearly hear him say, I'm still directing your path and I love you. Well, many of you in here look back over your life. You can be happy that God is still leading you and protecting you. Every now and then we need a reminder that it is God's directing our path. You're not here because you're a good driver. Some of y'all drive real bad. <laughs> you're not here because, amen, you walk, uh-huh, four miles and you jog two this morning. You're not here because you don't eat red meat and you're sickly a vegetarian. You're here this morning or this afternoon because God said one more. Lord have mercy. One more Sunday day. You see, during Israel's exodus from Egypt, divine miracles reminded Israel of God's presence with them. The Bible says they crossed the Red Sea on a dry path. God made through the sea. They were led by a pillar of cloud in the daytime. The Bible says, and a pillar of fire by night. Now, they rejoiced when God miraculously delivered them from the treachery of Pharaoh's arm. And church, it brings me joy. And it brings joy in my heart when I see age members in the church rejoicing. You see, those Israelite people were rejoicing because they had lived long enough to know that it was the Lord that brought them out of Egypt. And when I see gray-headed sisters and brothers in the church raising their hands or smiling and singing with joy in their hearts, it brings me great joy because many of them, amen, build bridges that some of us young folk are willing and able to cross right now. Oh, oh, oh some of you older folk, y'all know what I'm talking about. Lord, I brought y'all from eating hog malt. <laughs> They eat in the shopping mall. The Lord that brought me to go from the cotton field. Anybody here know about a cotton field? If, if, if you ain't been too far down south. But, but he bought them from cotton sacks to Cadillacs. The Lord has brought us from a mighty long way. Our mothers and fathers passed on a wonderful heritage to us. We came from people who believed they could succeed against the odds. We came from a long line of freedom fighters. We came from people who knew how to take nothing and make something out of it. When I was a little boy growing up in Mississippi, my grandmother would tell me stories about chitlin. Whole head sound. Big tails and big feet and big ears and hog. Oh, you see, those folk took nothing. And all the folk didn't want. And I know some of us have got educated now and we don't want no chitlin, but chitlin's brought grandma them a long way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember when we were killing hogs and they want to throw those foot and feet and tails away and grandma said, no! Some good food. And she put some water in a pot. Put some, ah, uh -huh. yeah, she, ah, uh -huh. put some celery and some bell pepper, man, some onions. 
to eat our uh-huh, filet mignon. The reason we ain't going to eat ribeye steak and T-bone because Grandma and Grandpa them took nothing so that we could have some. And then I go to my seat, thanks be to God, that we are still allowing him to direct our path. Those that put themselves under the divine guidance shall always have benefits of the guidance of Jesus. When God has directed your steps and your path, he will give you wisdom that is profitable for your journey. And I want to say to you at 15th Street, at this late date in your journey, we must not walk away from the path. And if the Lord is leading you, stay on the path because if you follow him safely, you're going to make it home. And when the journey gets rough, when the journey gets difficult, not only must you have a word in your heart, but you ought to have a song on your lips. I don't know about y'all, but I lost a, a woman in my life that was very precious. I called her Madea. And, and, and you know, growing up in the church, a very traditional church, you know, you know, you know, I like to stay here longer. It won't be very long. I'll fly away. Don't let your light. Amen. Where could I? You know, you know, at the cross. At the cross. I enjoy all of them so much. You know, all alone. And I just said, Granddaddy, why are we singing the old funeral song? But you know, you just keep on having birthday. It's not really the song, but it's the words. It's the words of the song. Y'all gonna help me close the list.
said this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. The floor is having a song that said, there's a lily in the valley, brighter than the morning star. Some of you shop and got a song that says, sweet, by and by.
my mama, y'all remember? When I was chilling. I'm sorry, chilling. <laughs> <laughs> and um, do you have some room? When they came to the one thing you couldn't do at my mama's house, you couldn't come to the table and feel it. You had to come. You can't be putting your hands in mama's pot no more chicken and rice. Right. 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 With some dirty hands. Amen. There wasn't no clown in the eye table. Amen. Amen. And, and, and listen here. Everybody at my house had an assigned seat. Yeah. And we knew if you wasn't there, there wasn't nobody sitting there. Right. When Jesus was there, Devin here. He came by. You hear this afternoon. You just, even in the midst of good evening, just be right where you are sitting. Just pray. I don't know. Let me do something here. Let my Christian faith come in my hearing. Come in by the word of God. Believe. Believe what Jesus died for. Yes. You very it. That's a great love. Great yes. love. That's no man is just a man laid down in his life. Jesus made it down. No back. No, Jesus laid it. Yeah. Kill him. He laid it. Yes. Because he loved us. He loved me. He loved you. Yeah. And he says, I died for you. While you were sinner, while we were sinners, he died for you. That, that, you know, that makes me happy. You got some food to take it. You don't take all that. <laughs> When you understand the depth of God's word, yes. it'll make you cry. Yes. Ain't nobody bothered. I used to hear that stuff when I was little boy. It'll make you cry. Ain't nobody bothered. It'll make you run. Ain't nobody bothered. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm mad at that. I got a wife, three children, a grandson, another child in the family, a daughter-in-law. And a whole lot of church children. You just keep having a birthday. Yeah. You, it'll make, if you love God, it'll force you to get closer to Him. Yeah. And the more you get closer to Him, the more He'll soften you. Yeah. And the more He soften you, you'll start crying. You'll start to shed tears. What we saying, you just grab all of it. But you know what? You ought to be glad for crying. Because crying is not always a sign of weakness. Yeah. Tell me all sunshine and no rain makes a desert. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Repent, confess, will put the Lord on the back. It may be heavy or you just may be I need to come down from this morning and I can't do that right. I don't know what's happening. Good night. Get what you say.